everybody, welcome to a brand new series, Ohio Richlands. This is, I've been waiting so much to play this map. This is actually a Midwest map in Ohio, in the U.S., for those that aren't familiar with Ohio. Uh, we're in our yard right here, our driveway. As you can see, the road looks amazing. We got our chickens over here. We do start off with uh, 10, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase some more right away. We do have, what are we starting with? $100,000, so let's just go ahead and fill that up right away by 20 there we go so now we're full of 30 and we should get a lot of eggs coming out but again i am so excited to do this playthrough midwest farm it's kind of where i was born and raised and it's good to uh yeah ohio plates here it's good to be here so i did put down a uh, duffel bag so we will start here this ain't the original starting farm on this map but this is my well one of the best farms i thought that would be cool to do a playthrough on this uh, map. We do have a trailer here we can use to pick up our uh, totes or pallets of our choosing. Over here by our barn, there's nothing in here, but we can go ahead and park, uh, you know, smaller tractors, skid steers, whatever we might decide to use. This isn't a open barn, so we can't use that. I wish it was. I kind of don't like that aspect of this. Uh... Our nice fields over here, we're going to get into those a little bit uh, later here after we get through the equipment. We're going to have a John Deere 4320. This thing looks amazing. We'll go ahead and hop on it here and give you a peek here. Uh, you probably want to hear it, don't you? Sounds just good. Like, this is going to be kind of a... We're going to start off with these more classic tractors. And then we're going to work our way up into some bigger equipment, more modern... It's definitely cool to have that there. We got the pallet fork on the front. And of course we can probably end up detaching those in that are uh, shed over there to keep them out of the way. We got a dual gravity box. Pretty cool. A little upgrade from fruiling we had on the last episode. We got our hay cutter here. Self-propelled. This will be very nice. We'll be able to make some nice rolls. We can uh, also, I think, run it right into hay right away when we cut it so that's another this is a mod it's on the mod hub i always like the look of this thing they're actually kind of around in the area where i live too they the farmers use these so it's cool to have that we have one auger but i think we might end up upgrading and getting two so we can you know unload and load otherwise i'm gonna have to reposition this and i'm sure we're gonna get real sick of that sooner or later uh before we take a peek into that shed there over here we got ourselves a nice go well round baler and we have our portable toolbox so we can fix it in here or take it with us wherever we want there's a couple pallets here there's fertilizer and then we got some seeds very nice looks like we got a planter here an amazon our sprayer there's herbicide in there Actually, yeah, it's not quite full, but it's at about 11 and a half mark there. Our cedar. I can't remember if this was direct drill. Yes, it is direct drill. So that'll help us tremendously. And we have here a uh, disc harrow, but I don't think we're really even going to need that. So maybe we should even consider selling this disc harrow if we got direct drill. I guess we will we'll need it if we do the planter. So I guess it's good we have it. Okay, that's that shed. And then we swing over here to our other pole shed here. And this opens up. You can do one door at a time. And then the other side, of, just like so. Pretty cool. Uh, we got ourselves a nice John Deere combine. The header's over here. Well, now that I think about it, we don't have a, uh, a corn header. But we do have a, a forge harvester here. Which we will use this on... That's probably what we'll do is... Uh, when we plant corn, we'll do it in the last growth stage before it's ready to harvest. And then we can make that into um, silage bales, if you will. So we really don't need a corn harvester. We'll probably get one later on, maybe do some of that. Because this is going to be a, a nice playthrough with those big fields. And we got ourselves here. Uh, we can attach on the back of our forge harvester and we can fill that up. 
Actually, I, when we make straw too, I suppose we could just put it in bulk and sell it that way too. If we don't want to make bales. There's so many opportunities on this playthrough, it's going to be awesome. And then we have a 4955 two-wheel drive. And then we have a 1586 International. Very nice. I'm so excited to get started on this playthrough. In the Midwest. It just feels like home. Oop, there's a deer trying to jump on the gravity box, I think. Okay, so we are in August. And it is a August morning. I'm going to go ahead and bump the playtime up a little bit here. We'll go to 5. We'll see how... We might have to turn that down. We do have to get... I suppose I should show you what fields we own. We're right over here. Are we own 1, 9... Well, I guess the fields would be 1, 6, and then a 7 here. Of course, our farm is 4, so we own these three big fields. We got a grass field and we got two uh, wheat fields, but these do have to get harvested in August. So we're going to get on those right away. Oh yeah, also in our grain bin over here, like we do have some barley on hand, about 14,000. That'll mostly get used, I think, for chickens. But yeah, I think this playthrough we're going to do mostly field work and not really any productions but we'll see how that goes that could always change i'm kind of open to things as we go but i think we should go ahead and get started for to today's harvest so let's go ahead and grab the john deere combine here i suppose we should get something for the header trailer you can grab the our john deere 4955 again i love the inside of this my cousin owns a farm, and he's got a tractor that's like pretty much exactly like this. I can't remember if it's the same number or not, but the inside is exactly the same. I've sat in it many times. I think I even drove it a while ago when I was a little bit younger helping out on the farm over there, but definitely a nice looking inside cab tractor. All right, let's get this out. It's out hitting anything. The equipment is a little bit ding, uh, dinged up. It's been used. We're inheriting this farm. It's very exciting. Let's see. Should we start with a small one in front or should we do the big acreage and back? I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. We kind of got to get them both done, I guess. We'll do the front one over here. It's kind of nice, too, after coming from fruling uh, the previous playthrough for those that are new and just joined us. Didn't really get to use dual tires a whole lot, but I think from this playthrough they will mostly stay on the whole time. Because there's we got plenty of room. Alright, let's grab the combine here. Again, take a look inside. Very nice. And as we get bigger equipment, I think we might end up having to expand this farm a little bit. Maybe get another pole shed up or two. See how things go. All right. Ooh, that tree is kind of almost in the way. I don't, I don't really want to take it down, though, I don't think. It's kind of adds some personality. Okay. Let's get this attached. And we kind of want to do straw swath drop, right? I think it's enabled already because it's, it's disabled. Yeah. Yeah, that should work like that. And maybe this front field here, we could do some kind of like garden crop or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we got to get it unfolded. Check this thing out. See what happens. Very excited. Yeah, so I don't know if I want to just pick this up with the forge harvester. We could uh, put up a like a hay loft thing too, but maybe I'll just bail what we have first. We can always decide to do what we want to do later with the other stuff. I guess we can just drive straight across. I 
I really love this map. I was so eager to get to this map ever since it came out. It's been a little while and finally get to play on it because I did want to save it for a playthrough. I do a lot of personal playthroughs on my own, but it's nice to have a series here and really enjoy this. We will get a lot of, I'm sure, exp exploration on this map before we end up coming to the end of the series. I don't know how long we plan on going. I'm not going to go as long as I did on Fruling. I'm thinking, you know, maybe 50 or less episodes. We'll see how it goes and go from there. But yeah, so uh, there's a lot of stuff to cut here. So I'm going to crack on here and we will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, we're just getting almost full here. I'm going to set this off on a worker. And then we're going to go grab our gravity box. Get to drive the old 4320 here. Let's see, I think we're up good enough here. I should probably actually take these forks off. I think we'll do that. We really won't need these on until... We pick up our bales, which we got a bale first before we do that. I think this would be a good spot in here for him. Until we get maybe a different tractor or something, we're probably going to want something else. Yeah, we'll just set it over here in the corner, I think. There we go. All right. So I'm not absolutely sure how big this uh, trailer is and how much we can get on. Should be a lot better than the one we had in the previous series, but a single gravity bot. Yeah, this is a monster. Look at those tires. All right, let's see what we get. That was quite a bit, 64%. Filled it up more than I thought. Okay, so we're going to have to catch him going down the other way. So we'll just bring it over here. And we'll get her turned around. Let's see, I'm a little... Woo! A little slippage there. Didn't expect that. I'm a little curious here what our yield is. What is it? Uh, 56%. I think what I'm going to do, too, is just go ahead and buy the, uh, the, um, analysis. Instead of taking samples for this playthrough, we're just going to go ahead and purchase the soil information. So, yeah, that's going to take, uh, 23, no, take 26 samples. Yeah, 1300 for that, and then the service cost is 900 That ain't cheap. Not cheap at all, but we'll go ahead and we'll do that for both fields here. Alright. I don't think I'm really too concerned about the grass, but we'll grab that one too, and we know exactly uh, right away which ones we own. Loamy sand, which isn't that great, and then we got sandy loam, which... I guess it's the second best. Oh, there's some loam up here. Could be worse. We could have clay, I guess. Alright, let's see how full he is. I might take over. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take over. We kind of need our, our money here. Even though we, we are starting off pretty good. 
in this playthrough. It's still nice to save where we can. Alright, I figured as much as it would probably fill that wagon up. So we're going to put this back off on a worker. And we're going to go dump that into our silo. I think we're going to... We're just going to sell the... The, uh, grain here. Alright, let's see how he does. Yeah, these are very nice fields though. So we're going to... Okay, the pH is good. I was just double checking if we we're gonna have to lime. All right, this load's probably a little heavy for this tractor, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, we'll just throw this into our silo, and it is wheat. We'll look up and see when the best time to sell that will be. Might end up upgrading to like a semi down the road or something when we sell products and stuff let's see here if we can get this right over ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah I'm not getting a trigger because I kind of think we have to be kind of close here I do got to turn this on uh, let's see here Tilt side is back. Let's make that to the front. There we go. Front. There we go. Just like so. Neat. It's looking good. Can't wait for future farming simulators. I'll probably actually make it so you can actually see the grain go up the augers and stuff. I was looking at the uh, construction simulator and noticed how like the dirt on theirs looks so much better than if they can like implement that into this farming simulator somehow. I think it'll look really awesome. Okay, so we got yeah our wheat filling up here, 22% full right now. Uh, when will that sell? Actually, we can use our handy dandy time saving. Uh, it's going to be January. I remember we can use that for chicken feed too, but I don't think we're going to need a whole lot since we're only going to have uh, the 30 chickens for a while. Speaking of which, I don't really know where the pallets spawn over here. For the chickens. I guess we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Alright. Yeah, it's a little tricky getting these, uh, because you kind of kind of get close to the elevator here. I think we're just going to be bumping it a lot. Unfortunately. Alright, let's top this up. Then we can take back over again. Ooh, didn't expect him to do that to me. Yeah, we can take over.
Okay. I was uh, trying to unload it here, and it's... Uh, I think it's still in the auger. We gotta get it lined up with the front uh, top hole here. Oh, there we go. I think. Uh, quit. I want to make sure I don't lose any product. We were farther along in the series. It wouldn't be so bad, but in the beginning here, I don't really want any to go to waste. This is a little tricky to move because it's not... It's not really cooperating. A little bit of a hill here. It makes it a little difficult to turn. So I think we're going to have to... Unfortunately, put some super strength on so we can at least get it over a little bit. Again, it's not ideal. Alright. That's pretty close, I think. Let's continue to dump. There we go. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah, so with that... So far, we're going to have um, max price here, 23000 coming in. That's just with what's in the silo. Oh, it says we have some eggs. Did they spawn yet? They had to have spawned at least one pallet, right? And there they are. All right, that answers that question. Oh, you can see the lines right there. They're just a little covered. I didn't see that. I really like this 4320. It's old school. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that we actually own another uh, grass field down here, 26. By the uh, wholesale. The small field. But when we get to grass, we'll probably go down there and hit that as well. Ooh! Yeah, I can see this kind of kind of be a problem, I think. Maybe if I get in here and just move forward, and then when we drive in, we can reverse it. It's kind of ridiculous to be doing that, but that's what we got. I guess we could always just get a regular tipper or something. Okay, it looks like he finished the job. I suppose we could go ahead and just drive the combine over. Well, we do have to hit that other field, but I think that's going to be in the next episode. We can just bring it over, I guess. What I'll probably end up doing on that field is maybe just go around the headland a couple of times. It's actually a, quite a big field. I mean, that's not much bigger than this one, I guess, once we start getting into these other ones. Who knows where the series will go, but we're going to want a bigger header. This actually wasn't too bad. Like, I, I, I felt like it was going to take a little while when we started. Just, I mean, this is a bigger header than we're used to so far, but... Definitely not the biggest, but once we start advancing in this series, we can get a bigger header, probably a couple combines, and we can go nuts. Well, let's just keep it simple and enjoy the process at first. Okay. Got that there. We'll just, uh... Set this right here, I think. Lovely. Alright. And we'll dump this little bit in. It's actually hardly worth it. We should actually... <laughs> but we can get practice, I guess, with our process. So we can get kind of close here. Maybe like that. And we'll have to just jump in the conveyor and reverse. A little bit. Kind of hit it from last time. And then we can just dump. There we go. And then when it's done... We can just get back in the conveyor. Reverse forward. And then pull away. I guess that'll have to be the work plan until we decide to change things up a little differently or so. 
All right, so I think we're going to leave it there for today's episode. Number one, loving this map so much. Loving these old tractors. It's just amazing to get on a Midwest map because I do love uh, the Midwest look. So in the next episode, I think what we'll do is go ahead and tackle uh, six down here. It's a little bit bigger. Like I said, I'll go around the headlands probably a couple times. And then I think we'll go put that on a worker and then we can get this bailed up and then we'll have to pick the bales up and I think straw how long will we have to hold on to straw oh there's a that would be at wholesale and that would sell in January as well so yeah we'll just have to stack them to the side we could probably put them up here somewhere maybe or maybe I'll buy that uh, uh, storage shed that Giants released all right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on Ohio Episode 2.